Greetings, my name is Greg Solom and I am excited to share my testimony today. My chains are gone, I've been set free. Praise the Lord that Jesus Christ has saved and rescued me. I grew up in a home where we went to church every Sunday and went through a confirmation class when I was in eighth grade. Yet, as I entered high school and college, I had a void in my life that longed to be filled. I sought to fill it by playing sports, dating, and socializing. At the beginning of my freshman year at the University of Kansas, I joined a fraternity. At the end of my first semester during college finals, my roommate and I realized that we needed to get a hotel room to study as my fraternity was having quite a few parties. It was in that hotel room shortly after midnight, my roommate was asleep on the other bed, I picked up the Gideon Bible on the nightstand. I began reading the book of Revelation and wondered who was this Lamb of God who opened up the book of life. For the first time in my life, I realized I was a sinner. Through that experience, God showed me that he loved me. Romans 5, 8 says, but God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. I realized that I was a sinner and I needed him. Romans 3.23 says, all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Moreover, in Romans 6.23 it says, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. I'm thankful for John 3.16, which reminds us that God so loved the world that he gave us his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. I realized that I needed Jesus as my own personal savior. I confessed and turned from my sins and by faith prayed to receive him as my savior and Lord. I praise God that in Romans 10, 9, it promises us that if you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Titus 3, 5 says he saved us not because of righteous things we had done, but because of his amazing mercy. He saved us through the washing of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord for his mercy, his steadfast love and amazing grace. He took away some unhealthy habits and gave me a desire to read the Bible. Shortly afterward, I received an Army RTC scholarship and met my beloved wife, Helen. He called us to be his ambassadors to the military where we served for over 27 years by his amazing grace, we've been married 35 years. Every good and every perfect gift is from God above. He's given us a beautiful family who loves him. We have five adult children who love the Lord and he's blessed Helen and I beyond measure with our son-in-law and two amazing daughter-in-laws. Moreover, he has given us two bundles of joy, two beautiful little granddaughters. I'm so thankful that the kindness of the Lord leads to repentance. Through life's challenges, he has been merciful. He's been gracious and always faithful. Romans 8, 28 says, and we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who've been called according to his purpose. The Lord has done exceedingly abundantly beyond all I could ask or think. I'm eternally thankful for King Jesus. He has forgiven all my sins as far as the East is from the West. I'm thankful for his holy word, which is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. He has given us an amazing church family and the opportunity to use our gifts and talents to serve him. Praise the Lord that Philippians 1, 6 says, being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God.